In this video, I'm going to review dividing polynomials using the box method. So before I start doing the dividing, I'm just going to review multiplying with the box method. I have a binomial times a trinomial, so I'm going to get right a rectangle or a box that's 2 by 3. I go ahead and I put my factors on the edges, x plus 3. 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. I'm finding the area of the box by taking length times width, and that's what this problem is, length times width. So I find the individual boxes in here. x times 2x is 2x to the third. 3 times 2x is 6x squared. x times negative 7 is 7, negative 7x seven squared. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21x x times 4 is 4x, 3 times 4 is 12. Now when I come along to write my answer, I look for like terms. 2x to the third is all by itself. For squareds, I got 6x squared and a negative 7x squared. So I get minus x squared. For my first degree, here's a 4x and a negative 6x, sorry, negative 21x, gives me negative 17x. And then finally, my constant is all by itself. So you notice first and the last term are all by themselves. The diagonals, though, are like terms. This first and the last don't have anything else on their diagonal, so they're alone. We're going to use that to help us when we do our multiplication, sorry, when we do our division. So let's do a division problem. We're dividing by 2x minus 5, so we need to have 2 on one side of here. So we'll go 2x minus 5. We know the first term. Leading term goes in the first box, 2x to the third. That will always happen. I look and say, what's 2x to the third divided by 2x? That's x squared. So now I can come down and fill in this box using our multiplication method. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 5x squared. But what I saw before is the other x squared has to be on the diagonal. I got a diagonal, they're going to be like terms. They have to add to negative 3x squared. So I got negative 5 plus 2 is a negative 3, so this is 2x squared. I take that divided by my 2x, and this has to be x. x times 2x is 2x squared. Again, now use my multiplication method. x times negative 5, negative 5x. I go up the diagonal, that's going to be my next x term. That has to add up to negative 17x. So this has to be a negative 12x. So negative 12x divided by 2x has to be negative 6. Now I take my negative 6 times negative 5, I get 30. And that is indeed that last term. So this checks. It works. It makes sense. So my answer is x squared plus x minus 6. I'm kind of using this sawtooth pattern. I'm going down, up, down, up, down as I go through that. That's the kind of the pattern we're going to use on these. Now... One of the main reasons we use dividing is for finding factors, so we often get a problem in this form. I know these two factors. I want to find, break this down from a fourth degree to a smaller degree, so I'm going to again use division. This is fourth degree, so I'm going to give another line of boxes, another column. But I have... I can't divide by two things at the same time. Same way I can't multiply by two things at the same time. 
or more than two things. So I'm going to start with x minus 2 here. I'm going to, again, leading term, x to the fourth, divided by x is x to the third. We always start with the leading term. We come down, x to the third times negative 2. And we look up here, up the diagonal to my next x to the third term. That has to be 1x to the third. So to get negative 2 to be a positive 1, I need to add 3. So divide by x, I'm going to get 3x squared. When I come down, 3x squared times a negative 2 is a negative 6x squared. And then I come up to my next x squared term. I need to get negative 16x squared. I have a negative 6, so this needs to be a negative 10. Divided by x, that gives me a negative 10x. And I go negative 10x times a negative 2 is 20x. I have to get up to a negative 4. So this is going to have to be a negative 24x. Because again, up the diagonal, like terms, this has to be a negative 24. I take my 24, negative 24, times my negative 2. I get 48. And that checks. So I got at this point, x to the third plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 24. Now I come, and I'm going to divide by my next factor. So I'm going to make a second box. Now I have a third degree, so I'm only going to make three of these. And I'm going to put over here my x plus 4, because that's my next factor I'm dividing out. And I'm no longer into this one. I'm on to this one. This was my answer. So when I plug in my starting term, it's now x to the third. So that gives me an x squared. x squared times 4. And I go to my next x squared term. That's now 3x squared. So I need to subtract 1. So divide by x, I'm going to get a negative x. Times 4 is my negative 4x. I come up to my next place. I'm supposed to get to negative 10 from negative 4. That's a negative 6. So we have a negative 6 there. And negative 6 times 4 is negative 24, which checks with what I got there. So I'm still good. So my missing factor is now going to be x squared minus x minus 6. Let's do another one here. Just more we practice, the better we'll get at this. Fourth degree, so I'm going to make four boxes. Or four columns. I got x plus 2 here. So I'll start with my x to the fourth. Divided by x is x to the third. x to the third times 2 is 2x to the third. My, I go up the diagonal to my x to the third. They have to add up to be a negative 1x to the third. So that's a minus 3. I multiply my negative 3x squared times 2. Negative 6x squared. I take it up the diagonal. Here's my next x squared. I need to get to 35. Negative 35x squared. So this is a negative 29. So I got a negative 29x. I take that times my 2 to get another negative 58x. 
that needs to add to this number to be 129x. So that's going to give me, what, 17188x divided by x is 188. And I take 188 times 2, I get 16, 17, 376, which is not negative 126. This means there's a remainder. It means x plus 2 is not a factor. So they don't always fact divide in evenly. Polynomials are not closed under division. We sometimes get answers that aren't polynomials. We need to look at something different. If we're just looking for factors, right now we say that's not a factor. We need to try something else. Now I'm going to do one more example here. This is dividing by a trinomial. So if you don't want to mess with that, that's kind of, I'm just extending this a little bit more. So you might want to stop. Or if you're curious, let's see what we can do with this. Can we divide by a trinomial? Will this still work? So I'm dividing by three terms. So when I make my box... This is going to have to be 3. Now, how many, how big I need to get this box? We haven't done one of these yet. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to put here x squared minus 6x and 9 because I'm dividing by a trinomial. So I have to have three of those. So I'm going to start with my x to the 4th, and x to the 4th divided by x squared is going to be x squared. Well, let's start, with, yeah, let's go here. Now I can take x squared times a negative 6x to give me a negative 6x to the 3rd. That's an awful color. Negative 6x to the third. Now I'm going to go up this diagonal to look at my, because I'm at x to the third, so I'll work up with that diagonal here. I have to add to a negative x to the third, so this has to be 5x to the third. So this is going to be a 5x here. Let's get another color in here. Let's try this one. Now, x squared times 9 is 9x squared. And I have 5x times a negative 6 is a negative 30x. Because this is a longer diagonal. I got three of them here. I have to get to negative 35x squared. So I got here negative 30 plus 9 is negative 21 x squared. I need to get to negative 35, so I'm going to need a negative 14 x squared. So this is going to have to be a negative 14. And I'm down to my constant term, so I didn't need these over here. I have all my answer here. Now I just have to start checking to see, is everything else going to work? That's where I'm going to use these three for. So I'm going to go 5 times 9 is 45x. And negative 14 times negative 6 is going to be, what, 60, 84? And so let's check. What is 84 plus 45 is going to be 9 12, 13, 139. Ooh, ouch. That means this is not going to work. So I did something wrong. So we're going to at this point say this does not work. 
Uh, my 9 times my negative 14 is negative 126. So, somewhere I messed up. I don't know. See if you can figure out what I did wrong. I'm tired, and I'm going to stop this video and go to bed.